Hello, welcome to the National Football Museum Storytime. My name is Denise and I work here at the museum. Today's story is a very special one. It's called Pickles and the Stolen World Cup. Now I want you to remember the name Pickles. We're going to ask you about it later. It's a very special story because it's a true story. What do you think that means? Yes, it happened in real life. So the story starts a long, long time ago. People all over the world liked playing football. They played football in England. They played football in Germany. They played football in Brazil and in Uruguay and in France and in Spain. And they said, I like playing football and you like playing football. Let's have a big competition friendly competition where people all over the world can enjoy the game. Let's call it the World Cup. Now, every special competition needs a very special prize. What do you think the prize could be for the winners of the World Cup? I'll give you a clue. A trophy! We need a very special trophy. Bonjour, my name is Abel Lefleur. I am the greatest trophy maker of all time. My trophies are beautiful. They are big or small, but always stunning. Beautifully designed. I am the best, the greatest trophy designer in the world. And the people of the World Cup have asked me, Abel Lefleur, to make a fabulous trophy. Now, this trophy needs to be made from very precious materials. What could these precious materials be? Metal. Hmm. Gold, yes. And silver. Fantastic. Gold and silver. This trophy will be for the victorious team. And the victorious team must be the goddess of victory. She will be the best icon for this trophy. She has long arms. She's holding the cup. The goddess of victory is called Nike. And she will be the main shape of my trophy. Oh, very good. So Abel Lafleur was the trophy maker given the task of making this very special World Cup trophy. Now, he said we needed gold and silver. Where can we find gold and silver? Does it grow on trees? No. We get it from deep underground, don't we? So, we need to do a bit of digging. Can you get your best diggers, shovels, paws? I want you to pretend to dig for gold and silver. Off you go. Have you got plenty of gold and silver? I know I have. I've got a big pot of molten silver and a big pot of molten gold. Now, Alain Lefleur made his trophy using silver as the base. Okay, right. Silver. We're going to make the cup at the top and we're going to make the arms of this goddess of victory, Nike. There we go, her slender body. Ah. Fantastic. But it's just silver at the moment. I'm going to dip it in the gold. In it goes. Oh, give it a good stir. Give it a good mix around. Oh, that is better. Now, this trophy in 1966 came to England because the World Cup was being hosted in England where all the games were to be played. So, in the capital of England, in London, the trophy went on display. It's in a big showcase in a wonderful hall in London. Now, people came from all over the country to have a look at this trophy. They said, oh, wow, isn't it beautiful? And isn't it shiny? And oh, who will win this World Cup trophy? And isn't it... Oh, Stolen? Who can help us? 
that's right, the police. Now, in 1966, calling the police was different to today. They didn't have mobile phones like we do. Some people didn't even have phones in their houses, but if they did have a phone, it would have a dial on it, a big ring. Now, get your fingers ready. What numbers do we need to press to ring the police? Nine, 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 well done. Get your fingers ready, put it in the nine, all the way around, nine. But 
The best thing of all, Pickles went on the pitch. The World Cup final in Wembley, where England had won the World Cup. What a day for Pickles. Let's have three cheers for Pickles. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Thank you for listening to my wonderful story about Pickles and the Stolen World Cup. Hope to see you soon. Bye.